Hello, welcome to part two of the fully serviced pitchers videos. In this one we'll be looking at how we connect our fresh water supply to our caravan. I did say in part one, the introductory video to fully serviced pitchers, that from our second holiday onwards, six years now, we've been using fully serviced pitchers on every trip out. Now, the first kit I bought was this one. It is now broken. It is a whale, 7.5 metre, lay flat, food grade hose. Now, it is not recommended to use garden hose because it is not for human consumption because of the possible chemicals it can give off into the water from the makeup of the hose and the possible bacteria that can grow. So, uh, but these food grade hoses have to pass certain tests. Now, what happened here after five years, the hose developed some pinholes uh, roughly six inch from the connector so after a few months they got worse so i opened the connector up and tried to get the factory crimp off and it broke so then i had to buy a new one well this original one was called aquasource mains water hookup The new one that I bought came with a white connector, whereas the original one was like an aquamarine colour. It was now called Watermaster Mains Water Connection. The easy connector from tap to van for continuous water supply. No heavy water containers. So the original one came with a Crystal 2 Truma adapter which you would connect into the end of the whale connector and you could plug that into a Truma Crystal 2 socket if, you, if yours was a Crystal 2 socket that is on your caravan. Uh, or you can also push that in and use it as a hose because when that's not in, that automatically stops the water flow. With the new one came the Truma Ultra Flow adapter. That's that. In case you've got one of those sockets on your caravan or motor home. But Truma do do their own water mains hookup kit and that's a continuous, I think it's a 14 or 15 metre hose length. And at the time I bought the original kit, I did buy the genuine whale 7.5 metre extension hose with the straight connector and the tap connector on the other end. You go extension hose. The whale connector is factory set at 1.5 bar. It does say that in small print. Don't know if you can make that out. 1.5 bar, maximum 1.8 bar. You can use if you've got an onboard pump to boost the pressure. So let's go on site now and see how we connect the kit to our caravan by using the tap connector, screwing this on the tap, click the hose on and plug this into the caravan. Now we're on site, I'm going to connect the water up. Because the tap is behind that bollard there, and the water connection point on the caravan is there, I only need the 7.5 metre water hookup kit. There's no need for the extension. So I'm going to screw the tap connector on and click the hose on.
before I connect to the caravan, there's one thing that I do. I've turned the water on, the hose is no longer lay flat. Open the toilet flush tank filler. And I use the Truma adapter as a hose. toilet tank up with it, it flushes the hose out, doesn't waste water and it disturbs any black deposits in the tank which then get flushed away when you use the toilet. I'm going to put 50 millilitres of Thetford Aqua Rinse into the flush tank. continue filling the tank up. The tank's full. Take the Truma connector off and it stops the water flow. And now we'll connect up to the caravan. Now that the toilet flush tank is full, I can connect to the caravan. But before we connect, we must make sure all the taps are shut off. The flap holds the plug in place. Now we're on the inside, the drain valve is closed, the tap's closed, and the outside water is connected and turned on so we'll fill the 10 litre hot water storage tank by letting the air out. We'll move the kettle. get air out the system and we'll go and do the same in the bathroom with the basin and shower that's the bathroom taps running free of air just check the kitchen one again yeah the air has been pushed out of the system so we can turn the water heater isolator on and the water heater element on low and that will stay on low until the end of the holiday. It's time to take the water connection off. I'll turn the tap off first at the bollard and then unplug it from the caravan. But before I take it off the tap I'll release the pressure out of the hose by pressing the self-sealing valve. And that stops water squirting in your face when you take the hose off the tap. Don't forget to take the tap connector with you. Before coiling the hose up I need to remove any excess water that's standing in the pipe and I used some paper towel and run it along the hose and it forces the water out at the other end and it cleans the hose at the same time. You'll be able to see the water coming out.
that's the muck that's come off the hose. I can coil the hose up now. And it's ready for next time. Constant fresh running water. See you on part three to see how I connect up the grey waste drainage.